Hello, good evening. Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Rosie. Hi. I'm sorry, we were Hi, like. Germany. Hi, Diego. Did you feel? Did you feel the earth move under your feet? Yes, I felt. Shape? I was in class. Did you get scared? Did you get scared, guys? Did you get scared? Like, <gasps> no or no? That's what's no. Did you get scared? No. Okay. They, no. Do you know uh, what's the scale? Four point something, right? Four point seven, four point eight. Four point five. It's in wow. Instagram. Four point five. Yeah, it was. So it was a big shake, right? It was a big shake. Super big shake. Okay. Rosie, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi, Wilbur. I am so so. Why? Tell me. Hi, Claudia. Uh, Hi, Elias. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. We were talking about the shake. Did you get scared? For the shake? 4.5, I think, right? I was walking. I didn't. <laughs> you were like, thank God I didn't feel it, right? <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, because my family is say, it felt, but I know I don't. I didn't. Uh -huh. I was in class and the students were like, <laughs> I saw their faces. They got scared. But since we were talking about, we were doing an activity, they remain calm because they got. I could see their faces. They got. They got scared because of the of the shake. And especially because not everybody lives in San Salvador. A lot live nearby the beach, right? In La Paz. So imagine in La Paz, it must have been really, really strong there, right? Anyways. Okay, so did you receive that information I sent you? Did you? Some pictures that I sent? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go over the, some of them. Yes, teacher. No. Let's check them out. <clears throat> I think I sent them here, right? This one's. <clears throat> I sent this one and this one. So for you, is it difficult, present perfect? Do you understand the difference between present perfect and past simple? I know it's a complicated topic. Simple past happened, it stopped there, but present perfect, it started in the past, it's in the present, it might continue in the future. For example, I have been a teacher for many years. I'm still a teacher. Maybe I will be a teacher until I die, okay? Present perfect, um, that's the difference between simple past and present perfect. But we have here a couple of, of other explanations, grammatical explanations, but I like to tell students the timeline of simple past, happened, stopped. Present perfect, are in the past, might continue to the present, and maybe we'll go into the future, you don't know, right? So here, like we were talking, finished time, unfinished time. I lived in Japan from 1995 to 1998, three years, no more. I have worked as a teacher since 2011. It means that you have been and you're still a teacher, right? So it's, um, this one is finished, this is unfinished. Then it's also definite time, which is the same as finished time. Indefinite, you don't know when it's going to finish. Now, but there's like some words that will help you find or understand when it's finished and when it's unfinished. For example, yesterday happened. A goal will help you. Last, 1994, like if you use specific years, you're fine with that. But if you use other words like 
already or just or ever, never, since and for, most likely it's present perfect. What is the present perfect form? Tell me, how do you structure present perfect? Can you tell me? What's the structure for present perfect? The subject, the auxiliary have or has, and the plus uh, past participle of the verb. Very good, in the past participle of the verb. We're gonna be doing an exercise with a couple of random questions that I have, and I wanna see how you guys answer, and we're gonna do it all together, okay? Let's go into it and we will do it. So let's go over it. So the question is the same way I ask, the same way you guys answer, okay? For example, if I ask you, have you ever been to Machu Picchu? What's your answer for this? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. no, I have never been. Okay, very good. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never been to Machu Picchu. Mm. Would you like to go? Yes, yes, I, would, I like. would like to go. I would like to go. I would. Okay. Good. Una suposición to the like future. To go. Uh -huh. For the future, it's I would like to go. That's a supposition for the future. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. It's the short answer. Oh no, I have never or I have I have I have not been to Machu Picchu. Okay, very good. Our next question is. Where is Machu Picchu located? Ooh. What about this one? Have you it's ever? Peru. To, have you ever? ever and help me with the verb. Play the guitar. Play. Have you ever played the guitar? Very good. Have you ever? But you can do it many. You can use any other verb. Have you ever purchased a gu the guitar? Have you ever borrowed the guitar? It could be any other verb, depending on the context, but in this particular case, because of the picture, is have you ever played the guitar? Very good. Have you ever played the guitar? I have. Not good. Eterna Soledad, I, I think, haven't. was the only one that I learned. Nanitos Verdes was the only song that I learned to play. Have you ever <laughs> played the guitar? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, no I haven't. No, I haven't. Listen the guitar. Only you, uh, okay, no, I have only listened to the guitar, okay? Never played, only listened. Mm -hmm. Never played. Listening, listening Never played. Never played. Never played. Would you like to learn? Yes. Or yes, I would like to learn. Oh, or if you, if, if you have to pick another instrument, what instrument would you like to pick? You could pick any other instrument. I would like to play the violin. Me too. The violin, the cello. I mean the cello or the violin. Uh huh. I would like to learn how to play the marimba. <laughs> it seems interesting. It, it you have you need an art to play it. Yeah. Okay, very good. Next question. Let's check it out. What about this one? Have you ever blank over 1,000 pictures just one day? Exaggerating 1,000 is what many pictures was. On your trip to Guatemala or to the beach or a special trip. Have you ever? Taken. What's the word Taken. here? Very good. Taken. Have you ever taken, taken. over 1,000 pictures just one day? Yes, I have. Tell me about it, Ricardo. When I visit the La Aurora Zoo in Guatemala with a friend, we took a lot of pictures there. Okay, okay. Ooh, we took a lot of pictures. How many? Do you have an idea? Like looking into your looking into your file, do you have any idea of how many pictures you took? 
um, we took almost 1,000 because also we visit Kayala as well. Nice. Yeah, it happens when you do a tour like this one, I guess you must take a lot of pictures. And then you're gonna pick which ones were good and which ones were not that good, right? So you take them, it's okay. So keep, on yes. keep on keeping of every single moment you spend. Nice. Anybody else? Yeah, always I I I go to to a trip. Mm -hmm. Every time I go to a trip. Every time I go to a trip, I I took uh, around thousand pictures. Wow, that I go on a trip. Okay, very good. Yeah, I think that everybody before the regular cameras with the zoom, but now with the cell phone, right? You can take many pictures. And sometimes you take your cell phone, your camera. You use the cell phone of everybody else. I mean, it's it's crazy. That's that's how we are now. We love to take many pictures. That's true. Anybody else? Any other story of any other places visited where you took many pictures? I haven't taken a lot of, of picture t-shirts. You haven't? I, I haven't. I prefer to uh, enjoy the the moment. The the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and it's a contrast because sometimes because we spend maybe a lot of time taking pictures, we perhaps miss specific or special moments in that in that trip yeah you're right so there needs to be a balance but yeah some of us take a lot of pictures too all right okay very good let's continue let's find out so have you ever taken over 1000 pictures in one day have you ever what's the verb Excellent. Have you ever met a famous star? A famous star. Anybody who's famous, tell me your stories, please. Here. Have you ever? Met. I have met Chirajito a long time ago. Uh -huh. I met, I met Chirajito a long time ago. I met the Choli. Okay, I met the Choli. Uh huh. Um, I met Jorge El Magico Gonzalez. Okay, Jorge El Magico. Nice. Okay. Anybody else? Everybody in the house? Nobody answers. Okay. I met Los Angeles Azules and I met also in Cojutepeque. I met Los Angeles Azules. They had a concert there and I had the opportunity to meet them. And I also had the opportunity not to directly meet, but I would say I consider in my heart that I met him. Uh, when I was very, not that small, but when I was a teenager, we had an activity. I, I, was, uh, I was working with a project as an interpreter, and I had the opportunity to be this close of Paul Walker, but at the beach. He, he was there because he would come, like, and he was there with Bono. Do you know Bono from YouTube? Yeah. Yes. So it, was, it was Bono and Paul Walker, and they were at the beach because it was a special project <clears throat> for Save the Children's. And they were there, and they were they actually came not only to serve, but they would give out money for special projects of kids whose parents would actually work at the beach shore. So yeah, so they would collaborate. So I was I was like an interpreter for somebody else, but we were like this close, and I was like, oh, like seeing them in real life was you know, I don't know. It was like oh my god, the Fast and the Furious guy. So you know, and the U2 singer. So it was really interesting to have them close, not to meet them directly, but I had the opportunity to be very close to them. So it was super cool. So that was my only. You are, you are a lucky I was very, but I was very young. I was very lucky and I, and I was very shy. I didn't, I didn't have the guts or that empowerment of 
saying, hi, my name is Bea. Nice to meet you, Paul Walker. Or hi, you know, bueno, how are you? So I didn't have that opportunity, but I was this close. So it was super cool having them here. But it, it was more, it, it was more cool knowing the fact, it was really interesting knowing the fact that they came to our country, not only to serve, but they came to our country to help kids. That's something that actually filled my heart with joy, like saying that they would give out money to help the programs that they had at the, at, at the beach at that time. Really interesting. Next one, let's question, let's check it out. Have you ever? What's the question? Have you ever? Have you ever done I, exercise? Don't, I haven't practiced exercise. Have you ever done exercise at the beach? Like any beach, any ever. sport or any I don't know yoga or any 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 type of sport that you can practice. Sorry, at the beach. Exactly in the on, on beach now. At beach. Now. Uh -huh. No? Practice. Uh, Not practice? No I play I play soccer game in the at the beach. Okay. How is it to play in the sand? They say it's very difficult to play soccer in the sand. It's more uh, difficult yes. to play in the real. It's more uh -huh. difficult uh, roll, roll the, for <laughs> the sand. Okay, to run. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about very, volleyball? It's very tired. It is. It gets tiring, uh -huh, because the the sand is very heavy, right? Yeah, it's it's too hard to try to run in the, the sand. In the sand. Okay. Anybody else? Any other exercise like volleyball or I don't know any other any other sport? No. Like yoga, mm. you know. mm -hmm. no? So no, in to no. practice yoga now. Yeah. I walk it. Have you ever blank skin? Have there skin? I don't. Have you ever? I have never. I have, I have never. never. Mm -hmm. If you have never been skin. I have never been skin. I have, have been, never. Have you ever been skin? Mm -hmm. No, I, I have will never be in. I, I like will be in. Yes, I will like. Or, uh -huh, I would like to. Uh -huh, I would like to skin. I, I will like to skin. And, uh, I, would like I would like to ski, ski just ski without uh, conjugating the verb, just ski. I would like to ski someday toward the future. Mm -hmm. Or I would yeah. like to go skiing. You could say I would like to go skiing. I have never I, been to, I have never been skiing. Never, never. I have I, never. I have never skiing. Have you ever touched snow, guys? No, yes. I will like to I never touch no. no, I know. Maybe sand skin? <laughs> sand? Yes, yeah, sand skin is like uh, a volcan volcano. Ah. You can practice in Nicaragua. Yes, in Nicaragua. Really? Yeah. Ah. Yes. It's true, I have seen it. Okay, sand skiing, it could be an option. It's more feasible than maybe snow skiing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Danger. But it must be more dangerous. Imagine if you, I mean, both, but I'm, I think it's faster. Sand might be faster than snow, I don't know. And the adrenaline, I think it's higher than snow, right? Am I mistaken? Yeah, but uh, sand skiing is more, like it's, ch it's cheaper than uh, the snow skin. 
Okay. Sand skin. Interesting. I'm going to look it up. I guess you do it on a volcano. On, tell me the name of the <coughs> volcano that you guys practice sand skiing. Yes, it is in the, how do you say, Falda? How do you say? The name um, of the uh, volcano? On the edge of the volcano, all around the volcano? Maybe. Hello, are you guys there? It's named uh, Cerro El Negro. Ah, Cerro El Negro, yes. okay. Cerro El Negro. Yes. We're gonna In look it Leon up. Okay, I'll look it up. Must be interesting to go sand skiing. Okay. Our next question, let's continue. Let's see. Have you ever a motorcycle? What's the past participle that we're going to be using here? Driven or ridden? By. Have you ever driven? Have you ever experienced a motorcycle? Have you ever driven a motorcycle? Have you ever purchased a motorcycle? Have you ever, depending on the context, there's many verbs you can use. But in this case, have you ever driven? Have you ever had the experience of that? Yes, I have it. Not as a co-pilot, but as a pilot. Because it's not the same to be a co-pilot than a pilot, right? Just like a pilot only. Okay. Um, yes, I have drive. Driven? I ride a motorcycle. A I motorcycle. have a motorcycle. Okay. You have a motorcycle? What type of motorcycle do you have? Um, it's like a ninja because it's a CBR. In... Oh, okay. It's very fast. Yes, a, a little. fast motorcycle. Okay. Really, really very fast. <laughs> and too dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. It's very yes. dangerous. Many, I, it all depends on, I guess it all depends on the drivers. Like I do, maybe because I have, I have students, I have friends that ride motorcycles. I respect them. And whenever I have the opportunity, I let them, and I even move to one side for them. To so I do it. Okay. I respect them. At least in my case, I respect them. But there's a lot of people that actually don't respect them. It's sad. It's dangerous, but it's adrenaline. Yeah, you're right. I wish I could have the experience of driving a motorcycle someday, hopefully. Our next question, have you ever drunk? Yes, I have it. Drunk. Maybe. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried? Have you ever drunk? Have you ever bought tequila? Have you ever given tequila? Have you, ever, depending on the context. Okay, tell me about it. Have you ever tried tequila? Have you ever tried tequila? Tell me your experience with tequila, guys. Mm -hmm. Bad. <laughs> Bad experience. It's really the best drink. Yes, it's the I best would. drink. Yes. Yes, it's a good drink. Okay. It cannot be missed in, yeah. at any party, at any celebration, at any birthday party, at any after work. A celebration, gathering, meeting, right? It cannot be missed. Okay. I forget the moment. <laughs> okay. Next question. Let's see. Now. Have you ever blanked a car? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, have I, have have. Yes, I have. Driven a car. Have you ever driven a car? Have you ever bought 
a car? Have you ever purchased a car? Have you ever sold a car? Mm -hmm. What car would you like to try? What's the car of your dreams that you would say, wow, I would like, I would love to try this <clears throat> type of car? I would like to drive a Ferrari or a car of the Formula One. Uh -huh. A Formula Uno, okay, a form Formula One car. Okay, great. A Formula race One car. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. I will have a GTR. Mm -hmm. I would like to try again uh, Skyline. I had the opportunity, but I was very young. I didn't enjoy it. But I would like to do it again, like a fast car, like a Skyline. Again. Actually, it's, it's very fast. They just are, the, right? the, the engine is to custom. Big engine, the system, of course. Yeah, I would like to run a. I would like to try a. What's this called? The big ones? The big. Um, oh, I forgot them right now. They're like trucks, but they are. I forgot them. I forgot the name. They carry cement, they're big. The bull like cut? a van? Like, like they a... carry cement. I forgot the word. Um, I'm going to remember in a bit. But they carry cement and they're big and they have a lot of, they have many um, uh, gears, not only first, second, third, fourth, and fifth and backwards, but they have many gears for many things and they have a lot of buttons. I would like to try one of those. Uh, engines that have a lot of gears. Like to like try a truck. Yeah, like a truck, like the construction kind of trucks, the big ones. Yeah, oh. like to, that have like many. A mac? Yeah, like a <laughs> mat. <laughs> yeah, I would like to try one of those. Oh. It would be interesting. Or like a Peter Belly, maybe. <gasps> yeah, like an Optimus Prime. Have you ever Harry Potter? Have you ever watched? Very good. Have you ever watched? Have you ever read Harry Potter, guys? Are you Harry Potter fans or not really? Uh, not really. Have you ever watched um, Harry Potter? What about Star Wars? Yes, I watched Harry Potter. I have ever, never read Harry Potter. You have never read Harry Potter? What about, okay, let me, the Lord of the Rings, let's talk about the Lord of the Rings. Um, or maybe, what's this? The uh, Hobbit. The Hobbit, maybe. The Fast and the Furious, we're talking about sagas. The Fast and the Furious, maybe? Breaking, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, okay, yeah. Game of Thrones. And all those series, no? The Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, that has like many series. I don't remember how many. Next one, have you ever money on the street? Have you have ever you found? found, found, found mm -hmm. yeah, have you, have ever, you ever found, found money on the streets? Yes, one time yeah. when, when I was a kid, when I was a study in the school, I found um, $20 on the street. What did you do with those $20? I don't remember <laughs> that. Many bought a lot of chips, all the money yeah. in food. Yes, I think so. Okay. Anybody anybody else? I have found ten dollars on the street. Mm -hmm. And I and don't remember. What did you do with it? What I did with this. Um, <laughs> Maybe about that. Uh, food. food. Yeah, to buy food. Okay, nice. 
Um, when I was like maybe five or six, no, maybe like almost 10 years ago, I was at the ATM of Metro Centro. There's an AT, there was, I don't know if there still is. There was a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I love Kentucky Fried Chicken when it came out. And I was at the, at the ATM getting out money. But this elder person was in a rush. So I told him, okay, you, you can go first. You know, I'm not, I'm, I have all the time in the world right now because I was very young. So, so I said, yeah, I have all the time in the world. So you can go first. And he actually took out money. And when he grabbed his bag, he put the money in his pocket, but the money fell because the, 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 the pocket was like very, I don't know. It was, I guess he didn't have enough space or he didn't calculate. I think he didn't calculate good. And he had put the money like in a little roll, but it was a lot of money. Long story short, eh, at that time you had to insert the card and I think the card was inside, I don't remember. And I left my card inside and I, and I saw the, the pile of money and I picked it up and I ran. And I remember I went all the way to, because it was Metro Centro and I had to go all the way to uh, Metro Sur to actually catch him and tell him, hey, you know, your money, right? And I, fin I finally did. And then I realized I didn't have my card. And I went back and the, maybe the security guard from Metro Centro noticed what was going on. And he said, don't worry, I have your, your card. I was like, oh, thank God, right? So all my money was there, but I did something good. Yeah. And a lot of people tell me, you should have kept it. I'm like, no, you know, he needed it. It's, it's, it's legal to do it. Like you have to go and give it back to him. So I ran as fast as I could and I was able to, and it was a lot of money. It was like a, a, roito, a, a, a roll of money that he had put in his pocket. So yeah, so I found money, but I gave it back to the person. I hope to never go through that situation. Yeah, it has happened to me that I have lost money, and I and I and I usually say and think, well, if you lose money, hopefully the person who finds it needs it more than you. So I I think positive whenever I lose money because it happy it has happened to me with my pockets. Sometimes you know, five dollars or or ten dollars have fallen from my. From my pocket so i usually say that if when i lose money i say okay hopefully the person who found it needed it more or did something good with it so it's it's just to have good th thoughts and attract them yeah next question let's go on have you Have you, started Have you studied English before? Before Isafor, tell me yeah. your story. I want to hear your story before Isafor. Where did you learn? I studied, I studied English at Prolingua Institute at, uh, in 2007 and 2008 and graduated there. And graduated. Okay, I studied there four, and then you can say four, five years, seven years, and then graduated, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, great. Anybody else? Good. Thank you. I was learning English at the University of Don Bosco five years ago. Mm -hmm. With their extension program or their INSA for program? No, it was a, a course. Okay. Uh, in the in Anybody else? Did you learn English before in support? I was studied English with Insafor. Mm -hmm. Only with Insafor, but before Insafor, where did you learn English? Uh, yes, I was studied in the Eat Cafe Pie. Ah, okay, with Eat Cafe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So I, I was a, a good teacher. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. 
Okay, thank you for sharing. Let's hear our next question. We're almost done. Have you ever, and start thinking of your questions because I'm gonna set you up in groups and you have to come up with questions and, and answers of have you ever and any crazy activity that you might get across, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna share some, uh, some examples for it with you. Have you ever run. participated run. or run on a marathon? Participated, hosted a marathon or run a marathon? Please marathon, have you ever? Um, nope. I have run. No, uh, I haven't. Half marathon. I have I never, run. Okay, never. I never run in the marathon. Never run. Okay, you run cuando tiembla, vea, for the shakes, but not a marathon. Oh. For the yeah. shakes, but not for the marathons. Okay. Next one. Have you ever ate tacos at home? Yeah. Or me? Have, Have you ever cooked, cooked? At tacos at home? Have you ever cooked you ever... tacos at home, guys? Are you good cooks? Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, I huh? have. What's yes, the secret in your family for a very good taco? What's the secret? There has to be a secret um, of a good taco in your house. What's the secret? Yes. The secret is put a lot of cheese. In the meat. Ah, in, e, e, in avocado. Avocado. An avocado too. Avocado too. Okay, uh -huh. too. okay. and meat. what about the meat? What type of meat do you use? Eh, meat al pastor. <laughs> ah, so you use pork meat. Okay. Yes. Pork. Uh huh. Okay. What about the tortillas? Are the tortillas, they have to be a specific brand or they have to be at a specific point? I don't know how, like there's a lot of people and I talk about tortillas because I went the other day somewhere to eat and I usually have tacos in one tortilla. But in this place, they serve you the tacos with two tortillas. Do you know why they do that? I like one tortilla. Uh -huh. Aha, me two. too. Uh, one, yeah. not two, right? Uh, yes. I prefer do you, one. And do you know why they do it? I think they put two tortilla because of the, the consistency. Um, because it's humid, humidity. Ah, because humid. it's humid. Mm -hmm. Because of the condition of the tortilla. Yeah. Okay, maybe also. And also, I, well, this friend that owned the place, he told us that he serves two tortillas for people to feel full. So they say, Hi, good tacos. I feel full because they have eaten two tortillas with every taco. So if the order has three tacos, it's going to be six tortillas. So by the end, you're not going to want more, and you're going to say, "Oh, it it it, would, it made me feel full." So whenever so you have whoosh. one, <laughs> I know. For so, whenever you, so whenever you have just one tortilla, you want more tacos, more tacos, more tacos. But with two tortillas, it's like you're getting stuck with, you know, with with flour here, I don't know, right? Just being having tortillas here. That's what he told us, anyways. Right. Okay, our next question. Let's see. Almost in. Have you ever been? over 15 hours in your office have you, have you ever worked have you ever stayed. worked over 15 hours in your office have you ever stayed over 15 hours in your office have you ever been for a very long period of time in your in your jobs 
or in your offices? Yes, I have it. <laughs> Overnight, maybe, I, I don't have, know. But uh, 10 hours, maybe. Okay. Not 14 or 15? No more. No, no more? Okay. No. From 6 to, to 10 p.m., I don't know. So much, 50 hours. Yeah. Yes, I have. When um, in my first job, mm -hmm. I was working as a NOC. NOC is a networking operator. Okay. So we have shift, shift of 12 hours. So maybe my, um, my co-worker that uh, relieved me in, the, in, the, in my shift, Sick. Mm -hmm. he sick, he sick, so I have to cover the the Sheep. chief for him. So yeah, you work double. Him. Wow! So pretty much yeah. you work almost twenty four hours. Yes, yes, almost. Exhausting. Uh huh. Wow. Incredible. Okay. Have you ever? Uh seen the Great Wall of China? Have you ever been? Have you ever seen? Have you ever... What else could you use? What other verb could you use? Have you ever the Great Wall of China? Visited. Have you ever visited? Visited. visited? Mm -hmm. I know. I have never been there. Tell me Think about the seven wonders in the world. There's more than seven wonders, but think about all the wonders in the world. <coughs> one, or where would you like to pick? Like if you were to pick one, okay. If you if you were to pick one, which one would you pick? Of the wonders of the world. There's many, right? Like seven, if I'm not mistaken. Which one would you pick? The Great Wall of China. Which one do we have? I have visited. Mm. I have visited Paris. Paris, okay, like the Eiffel Tower, uh huh, in Paris. That's one of the wonders. Mm -hmm. Machu Picchu is another wonder. The Great Wall of China. Taj Mahal, it's another wonder. I never Taj Mahal. I have visited Japan. Okay, Japan. I have visited the Kremlin. Mm -hmm. the, the Kremlin at Moscow. Ah, the ones that are like the like in a circle. They're like a yeah. lot of stones in a circle, and the in the sun. Gets through it. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Where is it located? Where is that one? The milestone. Moscow. Ah, Moscow. Yeah, that's another wonder. Yeah. There's another one in Chile, I think. There's like a lot of statues or like faces. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the name of it. There's like a lot of the Pasqua Island. Mm. Pasqua, they're like eggs, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I was thinking about the Pasqua Island. Okay, nice. Okay. Interesting. Moscow. Have you have you an iPhone before? Have you had a, an iPhone before? Have you bought an iPhone before? Very good. Have you bought an iPhone before? Have you given away an iPhone before? Have you had an iPhone before? Have you purchased? Mm -hmm. Have you had the experience of having an iPhone before, guys? Or do you have an iPhone right now? I haven't. You have? I have, I have never had an iPhone before. And this includes any Apple product, right? An, 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 an iPad or a Mac, iMac. 
or an iPhone or Apple TV, which is also Apple. Any Apple products? No, no iPad. No, no I don't. No, nothing. I don't have. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have used um, a Mac computer in my work. Okay, but you have you don't have an iMac. Mm -hmm. Yes, an iMac, and I have two iPhone. Ah, so you do have the experience of, of having an iPhone. Yeah. Okay. It's horrible. <laughs> Why? Why is it horrible? Because it's, it's not to, to pair with the same uh, product. I cannot send a, a file by Bluetooth really? from iPhone to iPhone. Yes, it's too difficult. So it's like, it's like elite. So it's like just for, I, if you have another iPhone, then you can do many things. But if you don't have an iPhone, you cannot send a file to any Android phones. Yes. So it's too, it's horrible. Wow. So it's very complicated. I have heard, I have heard that if you want, that you need to buy apps. Like in an Android, they're for free. In an iPhone, you have to purchase them. Like they're like a little bit more expensive. Like there's like a couple of programs that are like more expensive than the, I have heard, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if you are a hacker, you can do it to yeah, have free. any <laughs> application free. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, let's check another one out. Have you ever danced swam with dolphins what would you like to do for have you ever have you ever ever danced have you ever um, played have you ever swam with dolphins <laughs> No? no, I haven't. No, you haven't? Okay. Would you like to? Yes, yes I'd like. I, would. I would like to. But tell me a place here where you I can would like to play. Mm -hmm. Or dance with them. With okay. the dolphin. Is there a place near El Salvador where you can actually do it? What's the nearest place? At Roatan. Ah, Ruatan, it's the nearest, right? Guatemala doesn't have them, yeah. maybe Costa Rica, okay. Ruatan. Disney, Disney. Oh, it's Disney, huh? Like any theme park. Any theme park. Have you ever lost your wallet or your purse, girls? I haven't. Have you ever lost? Lost my car. My mm -hmm. I lost. I lost wallet in the restaurant at the restaurant. The rest <gasps> at a restaurant, you lost your wallet. Did you get it back? Yeah. And Chinese food. <laughs> Were you able Me to get it on back? the bus? In the bus. Yes. Wow. Did you get it back or no? No back. No back? Uh -huh. No. Anybody else? Have you guys lost your wallet? And maybe had the experience of getting it back from someone? I have forgotten, but not lost. Mm -hmm. I... Um, I go back, went back, and I in the the purse was there. <laughs> Thankfully. Thankfully it was there. Okay. Nice. Almost done. Have you ever fallen asleep on the lap on your laptop or your computer? Have you ever Falling asleep like that on your computer? 
Like you're so tired. I don't. Yes, I have it. <sighs> yes, I slept uh, on my laptop the last class. Mm -hmm. You slept on your laptop last, okay. Oh, I know. I'm sorry to hear that. And then you had all the keys here, right? The keyboard, from the keyboard. Okay. Well, this was our class for today. The practice with a have and has, have been, right? In the past participle of the verbs. Um, I hope you're doing the platform. I know you guys get, you know, it's a tiring class. The schedule is really tiring, okay? I'm trying to make it as, as dynamic as I can. And before I let you go, I want to show you a little video. Ready? Okay. Ready. Yes. Can you check out my screen? <laughs> okay smile just see the positive side of things okay guys okay thank you i need to be happy <laughs> as you get don't worry be huggies okay guys thank, <laughs> thank you so much don't for worry be happy i thank remember you, that my my son <laughs> <laughs> you can play him that that commercial as well okay guys thank you so much for joining today okay have okay. a have a good night, a blessed and good night. Have dinner with your families, rest. I know it's been a tiring uh, day, okay, week. If not, start of the week. Um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same time, same place. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, okay. teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Bye. Nice teacher. See you tomorrow. Yes. Teacher. Yes, 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 tell me. I didn't come into the class for one week and I don't have what I need to do because okay. I have uh, many problems with the internet, with my time in the in our work. Okay. Um, in this class, I I only hear your class. I didn't participate. Okay. Don't don't worry. The you can catch up anytime. Okay. So if you you couldn't join in the last week, if you want, uh, talk with uh, talk about the situation with Jonathan. But I think this is um, this is like not really mandatory. It's more like an extra or a plus that we give you aside from the platform. So what we can do is okay. to catch up with, with the activities. I can send you the links or you can check them on the group of WhatsApp. I send all the links and all the pictures of all the information that way you can have access to it. Okay. But don't worry, Grace. Thanks, thank teacher. You. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow, Good okay? Good night to you too. Bye. Okay, see you. Okay, bye. Bye there. Bye. Bye. Arrivederci. See you tomorrow. Choose. <laughs>